so I would love it. Today, we celebrate your team. Now, we do what's federal policy. We celebrate freedom, and we celebrate liberation. And I say to all my black siblings in Christ, I see you, and I hear you. I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. What does the celebration mean to me, to my people, my relatives, my ancestors, to my indigenous communities, to my Latine, Latinx, Latino communities? You know what it does? It engenders gratitude, joy, hope. Because this holiday is like a visible sign of the outcome and results of many seeds planted, of many people paying the price, of many who continue to pay the price today. Many who are intentionally for this day to come, many rejoice that will God did, and yet many are still waiting today. Growing tired, impatient, losing their joy. Because that's legal in 1863 and 1865, slavery ended. But white supremacy and racism has continued to permeate a lot of American history since then. From slavery to segregation to lynching to discrimination, clearly black and brown bodies have never. And this day, by the way, does not get to see under the American flag. It was complicit. It was silent. It was disinterested, justifying their actions. Believing that African slaves were less than human, so naturally they didn't carry the image of power. Justifying the conquering of American Indians and the slaving of Africans, so it spreads Eurocentric religious and cultural norms because they truly believe. And so this racial superiority can be part of the church, part of the culture of the American colonies, and continued unabated after the Revolutionary War. Becoming this institution of masculinity, violence, and white supremacy, and still offering biblical justifications and remain silent. Thank you. 
used by other humans for its own elevation, at least the theological definition of Christ. And they were acting with the SBC. The Southern Baptist Convention, which is, by the way, the largest Christian denomination in America, they voted to expel churches that have rented. Thank you. 